do 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 oh here we are we're back again oh my goodness we are back live on youtube for a sunday it is now sunday afternoon here in the uk just after two o'clock and as you can see the sun is out but it is very windy today i have to say the wind is blowing in fact it's worse than yesterday it's actually blowing stronger and harder than yesterday so I thought yesterday was a bad day as far as the wind was concerned but today it's even worse so all I can say is I hope I don't get blown away but where am I where are, where are you Mr Duncan we can't see you hi everybody this is Mr Duncan in England how are you today are you okay I hope so are you happy on this Sunday yes it is still the weekend Monday is just around the corner for some people but as far as I am concerned it is still Sunday and the weekend is still here so I'm going to stay as happy as I can the bad news is that Mr Steve has to go back to work tomorrow he's a little bit grumpy today so just in case mr steve appears on today's live stream he might not be looking very happy because tomorrow he has to go back to work he's just had two weeks of holiday and what a busy two weeks it's been especially last week because steve treated me to a lovely birthday treat a lovely birthday gift steve took me away would you like to see where we went now I'm going to show you straight away where we went. I might show you this again later on. <laughs> Would you like to see a photograph first of all? So here we are. It's Steve and myself. Last week we were away on a little trip. So this photograph is just a way of giving you a small preview of what is to come a little bit later on. So there you can see as last week on my birthday that was taken thank you very much once again for your birthday wishes i'm still getting your birthday wishes even though my birthday was last week i'm still getting lots of people wishing happy birthday to me thank you very much <laughs> if i seem distracted there are lots of insects flying around today the wind is blowing the sun is out but it does look rather nice the view today is rather lovely there it is again for those who were wondering so that is a live view looking behind me into the distance you can see it's very windy a very blustery day I love that word blustery so it means that sometimes the wind blows very strongly very forcefully so we might say that it is a very blustery day the wind is blowing very strongly look I have a little friend with me would you like to see my little friend oh look at that it is my little hedgehog friend hello Mr Hedgehog what have you been doing have you been busy have you been busy building your nest in my garden I do have some hedgehogs in my garden and I must admit I do love hedgehogs very much a lot of people here in the UK take care of hedgehogs in their garden and hedgehogs are quite common especially in rural areas around here there are many hedgehogs and I think they are the most adorable creatures and many years ago there was a myth a legend connected to this particular animal a lot of people believed that hedgehogs would roll on the ground like this they would roll on the ground and they would pick apples up with their spines so the back of a hedgehog is very spiky and people used to believe that hedgehogs would roll on their back and pick up apples and for many years this particular thing was debated eventually it was proven that 
they don't do it so a lot of people used to believe that hedgehogs would pick apples up with their spines but apparently they don't it was all just a myth but between you and me I think hedgehogs are one of my most favorite animals and we do get a lot of hedgehogs around here so they are very busy at the moment I think it is the mating season for hedgehogs so somewhere in my garden I think there might be some baby hedgehogs crawling around somewhere in my garden <laughs> I'm going to have a drink of water because my throat is very dry excuse me mmm that's better so welcome to a very windy day here it is the 18th of August we are now over halfway through August and already the days are getting shorter already the daylight here in the UK is becoming less and less so between you and me it can be a little bit depressing this time of year because suddenly you you are aware that the days are getting shorter and well autumn will soon be on its way and of course we know what happens after autumn we have winter and then the end of the year so it is live English and my name is Mr Duncan for those who don't know who I am I teach English on YouTube I talk about the English language so I am a little different from many of the other English teachers on YouTube so I don't have a whiteboard I don't lo write lots of things down on a whiteboard behind me so a lot of what I do is spontaneous and dare I say natural as well so thank you very much for your company today it is very windy <laughs> all I can say is I am slightly concerned that all of the equipment around me might blow away that's all I'm saying so it is a very windy day so please bear with me hello to the live chat it wouldn't be a live English stream without the live chat so let's have a look shall we oh hello to Kyber you are first also Julie hello Julie nice to see you here today blue thunder hello there mr. Duncan and everyone I am back from my vacation I am so happy to be here again oh by the way blue thunder I did see your video on your YouTube channel where you were introducing yourself to the camera so thank you for telling me about that I probably won't show it today because I don't think I have time hello Sham Shaima hello Shaima Hussein hello to you as well thank you very much for joining me today don't forget if it is your birthday today or if it is a special day for you please let me know so perhaps somewhere in your life something special is happening today maybe it's your first time here maybe you have never left a message before on my YouTube channel so maybe today is the day to do it Ooh. also Luz Rodriguez is here hello to you where are you watching at the moment I am always interested to find out where people are watching hello everybody says Louis Louis Mendez nice to see you back again as well now yesterday I made a comment about Louis because Louis sent a little photograph of himself and I said that Louis has a little twinkle in his eye a little spark of dare I say life you look like someone who really does enjoy life so maybe you and I are kindred spirits maybe we have that particular thing in common hello Tomek as well nice to see you back Kilal or Khalil hello Khalil nice to see you too a lot of people here today hello also to Jimmy Jimmy from the golden notebook I think Jimmy is in Hong Kong and of course 
you don't need me to tell you that Hong Kong is very much in the news at the moment there are demonstrations taking place there for various reasons and yes I send all my best wishes to everyone watching in Hong Kong and please stay safe Hiba is here how are you Mr Duncan I wish you a good day I'm not too bad but for some reason I don't know why my throat is feeling a little sensitive today I don't know why <clears throat> so if my voice sounds strange I apologize right now Grace is here watching in Malaysia also Sea Pearl hello Sea Pearl I don't recognize your name is it your first time here on the live stream please let me know hello Mr Duncan it is now after 10 o'clock at night in Japan but I will stay with you well that's nice to know I know in certain countries because of the time that I start my live stream in certain countries it is very late at night so I do appreciate the fact that you are willing to stay awake until the very early hours in the morning some people stay up after midnight to watch my live streams Julie hello Julie nice to see you back here again as well Tias says hello hello to you and once again happy Independence Day for yesterday in Indonesia Jessica I like the way you spell your name by the way that's very interesting Jessica Alves says hi guys morning from Brazil nice to see you here as well Belarusia says hi to everyone on the live stream nice to see so many regulars Sarus Sarusain Sarah now Sarah do I actually pronounce your name correctly because I'm not sure if I do so sometimes I know this is true and I know it happens from time to time so sometimes I might mispronounce your name especially people in Vietnam I often mispronounce people's names in Vietnam for for which I apologize again Mula hello Mula my name is Nasir Mula nice to see you here today is it your first time that's what I want to know if it is your first time or if you have anything special happening today please let me know well a gazebo is very similar to a garden shed <laughs> wow the wind is really strong today <laughs> so yes I am standing under the gift that Mr Steve gave me last week which is a huge gazebo so yes a gazebo is very similar to a shed it is a type of covering so we often have a garden gazebo of course you can also sit underneath a gazebo so a gazebo is something you, you see in the garden quite often you will put things inside it also you can sit inside a gazebo but the gazebo in my garden is temporary so it is one that you build very quickly in fact if you look at the thumbnail on today's live stream you will see a picture of this actual gazebo on the thumbnail of today's live stream hello Alan Gear. hello to JC Geordie is here good morning Mr Duncan our English wizard directly from the very heart of England in the kingdom of the language knowledge indeed we need you quite a lot thank you very much for that what a wonderful welcome thank you Beatrice is here it's also windy in Argentina I don't know why it's so windy here today as I mentioned yesterday we have had the worst August as far as the weather is concerned ever it is official we have had the worst August the most rain the wettest August ever on record and that is official 
and and we're not even out of august yet we haven't even finished august and already it is the wettest ever in the history of the uk mika is here also alam gear and oh hello to anna rita hello anna rita <laughs> nice to see you here today as well <laughs> do you know what today might be the first time i ever abandon one of my live streams because the wind is really getting quite strong very stormy today <laughs> i would be lying if i said that i wasn't afraid but i do feel slightly afraid that my gazebo is going to fly away in the wind it is nice to know that the weather is good in iraq that's good to hear thank you c pearl for telling me did you get any gifts on your birthday well i got some lovely gifts mr steve bought me something for my studio a lovely cooling fan to keep me cool in the studio when it gets very hot in there and also outside mr steve bought me an outdoor gazebo and you can actually see a photograph of that on the thumbnail for today's live stream so that is actually the thing that mr steve bought me last week for my birthday ts asks are you streaming from your studio or outside today i am outside definitely and i can prove it if you want me to prove it i am more than willing to do so i am outside at the moment i will show you right now that i am really outside just a moment So there you go now you know i am really outside how do you spell the name of the animal that you showed earlier i will show you do, do. here is the name of the animal that i showed you earlier hedgehog hedgehog so this particular animal is very common in the uk and it is called a hedgehog hello my name is mr hedgehog and at the moment i am mating i am raising some baby hedgehogs so i am very busy at the moment Ooh. so there a hedgehog one of many living in my garden. <laughs> I'm just making some adjustments here. Just some adjustments on my live chat. Hello to Sudan. Apparently in Sudan it is very hot at the moment. I've seen your gazebo. It is a very nice one. Thank you Mika. Although the one thing I will say about my gazebo today is that it doesn't like strong wind. So I am slightly worried that it will fly away a little bit like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Goodness knows where I will end up. It is so happy when I can communicate with all of the world, says Quien Quien Trin. I hope I pronounce your name right. I know I often have difficulty pronouncing the names of people in Vietnam. <laughs> Tomek, what was the word you used to describe the windy day? Blustery. I will write that down for you. Blustery. I will write it down. And there it is now on the screen. Sent there it is blustery so when it is windy we can say that it is very blustery blustery so now and again the wind will blow very strongly suddenly there will be a large gust 
of wind. So we can say that it is very blustery today. And it is. It really is. Would you like to accept some work in Saudi Arabia if you got the opportunity? Well, no one has ever offered me any work in Saudi Arabia, so I, I can't really answer that question because it's never happened to me. There is a joke about learning English, everyone. I speak to myself all the time. The doctor replies, are you insane? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Don't worry about talking to yourself. Sometimes it is very, very useful. It is a good way of practicing your English. The only time you have to worry about talking to yourself is if you reply yourself to the things you are saying. So, yes, as I mentioned yesterday, talking to yourself, talking in the mirror, listening to your own voice. These are all very good ways of improving your spoken English. Abu Omar says, I am from Salame or I am I am Salame Mohammed from Jordan and this is my very first time for me. Hello Abu and can I say welcome to my live chat. <laughs> so there you go some lovely applause for you there. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, shall we have some fireworks as well? OK, let's have some fireworks <laughs> to welcome Abu Omar, or should I say Salame Mohammed, to today's live stream. Kaboom! Welcome to my live English stream on a Sunday afternoon. Hello also to Loretta. I love your name, by the way, Loretta. It is a very glamorous name. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Your gazebo is wonderful. It looks like something that the ancient Ottoman military would use. It looks like a tent that the ancient Ottoman army would use. I'm not sure about that. I hope theirs was stronger than mine because I think mine might blow away today. Hello to Rajesh. What is the difference between nationality and citizenship? Well, when we talk about nationality, it's normally the place where you live or the place you were born. And when we talk about citizenship, that is belonging to a certain country. So citizenship can be related to any place where you settle down. So you might have to get citizenship to stay in a certain country. For example, Australia. You might want to go to Australia to work, but you can only work there for a short time. So many people go to Australia, they will work there, they will get a job, and then hopefully, eventually, they will get citizenship. They will be able to live in that country as if they were born there. But quite often we, we talk about our nationality to be the place where we were actually born. So I am British. I was born in the UK. I was born in Britain. So I am British. Or I suppose you could say I am English. But my nationality is British which means that is the place I was born. But you can get citizenship anywhere. So it doesn't have to be the place where you were born. You can get citizenship in the United States. You can get citizenship here in the UK. So maybe you come here to live and maybe you want to stay here and work. So you will have to get citizenship. You want to stay in a particular country. So I hope that answers your question because I love answering your questions. So I went away at the weekend uh, last week. Rather, I went away with Mr. Steve. He took me somewhere lovely. In fact, would you like to see the place where we went? OK. So here we go. This is where we went last week. 
a place called Glyphias or Glyphase Hotel. A very lovely place. A nice hotel. Originally, this particular building was actually a private residence. But these days, it is used as a hotel. So there you can see the view from the window. The room we were staying in was very nice. Thank you once again to Mr. Steve for giving me such a lovely treat. And there you can see one of the rivers. This is the River Usk, which runs right past the hotel. And this particular hotel is popular with people who enjoy fishing. So a lot of people come here to stay and whilst staying there, they enjoy some fishing. And there you can see one of the mountains in the distance. The area I was staying in is called the Brecon Beacons. The Brecon Beacons. A very lovely part of South Wales. And there you can see going down one of the steps towards the river it was a lovely beautiful quiet place I would recommend it to anyone in fact I must be honest with you I do love Wales I really do and there is Mr Steve standing by the river I think he wants to go for a swim I think so so it looks as if Steve is about to go for a swim so that particular river is often used by fishermen. So during the early part of the year, you will find lots of salmon in that particular river. Ooh, and also there were some very unusual plants as well. And there you can see something rather unusual, a huge plant. I wanted to find out what that plant was called, but I didn't have time. And there is one of the places we cycled to. We went on our bicycles to a place nearby called Pontypant. Oh, sorry, Talibont was the name of the place. And there we are, Mr. Steve and also myself after riding our bicycles. <laughs> we look so happy, don't you think? So there it was, our little trip away. And I hope you enjoyed that. It is a Sunday afternoon and it's live English all the way today on a very windy Sunday afternoon. <laughs> I really feel as if I'm, I'm I may be putting myself in danger today. I don't know why. I really feel as if I might be doing something that might be a little bit dangerous. Hello also to the live chatters Rakesh hello Mr Duncan and a very good night to you and a lot of humble requests to you to tell me how to speak fluently and quickly what is the temperature like here in the UK well here today it's a little cool about 17 maybe 18 degrees Celsius so it isn't very warm today it's very windy and yes, as I mentioned earlier, blustery. Um, also, let me just have a look. How to speak English quickly? Well, first of all, you need to learn how to speak English slowly. So don't rush your English learning. Don't rush it. Please don't rush it. Because if you rush your English learning, you will make lots of mistakes. And maybe you will eventually become discouraged by it. So try not to not to rush your learning. Try not to do it too quickly because you might have some difficulties. Tias says my friend has Indonesian nationality. She had been living in the UK for a long time and she married a British man and now she has a British ID. So did she get British citizenship? Well, it sounds like yes, it sounds like she has. So she was born in Indonesia. So she her nationality is Indonesian. However, she has now moved to another country where she now lives. And to live there, you have to have citizenship. 
but you will always be born in Indonesia so you will always be born in the place where you first arrived into the world <laughs> hello to global polyglot do you have some series about IELTS I have made lessons in the past about how to do the IELTS test in fact my very first live stream was all about IELTS can you speak Kurdish <laughs> no I can't unfortunately I, I, I don't know that language I'm afraid hello to Belarusia oh absolutely beautiful images of your trip thank you for sharing them with us <laughs> I can't believe how bad the weather is becoming it really is turning quite bad look look at the camera I will show you a closer view in fact it's gone very dark now <laughs> I'm, I'm slightly worried about the situation with the weather at the moment I don't know why <laughs> I have a strange feeling that the weather is going to get worse this afternoon even though the forecast said that it was going to be nice so who knows who knows I think we need to brighten things up a little bit by having a look at something that I've been asked to show a few people have asked Mr Duncan can you please show us your trip to the beach last year Mr Steve and myself we went to the beach and we had a great time so I thought today it would be a good opportunity to show you the video clip of us going to the beach would you like to see it let's have a look at it right now so we are now in the car we are about to leave Lake Vernui and we are going somewhere else somewhere quite exciting somewhere we haven't been for a long time are you excited Steve yes very excited <laughs> that's excited so off we go but the big question is where are we going Mr. Duncan and Mr. Steve, but where are we? We are now on the beach. On the beach at a typical British beach scene. It's freezing cold. We're wrapped up in, in, in woolen winter clothes. The sun's out, it looks lovely, but it's actually very cold. So I've got the beach towel. And what have you got, Mr. Duncan? I have my spade oh. so I, I can dig in the sand because <laughs> we are on a sandy beach. And I have my bucket as well, my little bucket. So I can put the sand into the bucket and I can build a little sand castle here. <laughs> and I've got the same, matching. I've got the blue ones, you've got the red ones. So, are we going to start building sand castles, Mr. Duncan? I'm all excited. I think Mr. Steve is very eager. Even though the wind is blowing, it is quite windy on the beach. We are very close to the sea. We are on the Welsh coast in a place called Aberdovey. It's very nice normally, but unfortunately, it's a little cool and quite windy. What else have you got there, Steve? I've got a beach towel. Yeah, Mr. which I'm now using to keep warm with. Do you that... like do you like Steve's beach towel? It's... I'm using it as a scarf to keep warm. <laughs> 
So let's start building some sandcastles. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. All over the UK during the summer months, people come and they visit the seaside. They go to the beach. I don't know what it is about being near the sea. The sights, the sounds, the weather, and also the fresh air. To be honest with you, there is a lot of fresh air around today because it's so windy. And look at the sea. Isn't it beautiful? In fact, I think Mr. Steve is going to go into the water for a paddle. You paddle in the water. You splash around in the sea. That splashing around in the sea has made Mr. Steve feel very hungry, so he decides to go to the local chip shop. There's nothing like a bag of fish and chips, piping hot from the fryer, with extra salt and vinegar. Mr. Steve appears to be enjoying his chips. Mmm, delicious. Do you know what this bird is? It's a seagull, a very common bird that can often be found near the seaside or on the coast. We decided to see what would happen if we threw some of the chips on the ground. Needless to say, the result was chaos. You will often see seagulls at the seaside.
so our day trip to the seaside is almost at an end as we walk off together into the sunset I tell you something I would love to be on that beach at the moment because right now it's raining behind me yes the heavens have opened and now it is officially <laughs> raining here in the UK oh yes a live weather forecast here everyone it is now officially raining I am really putting my gazebo to the test today because now the rain is falling will I get wet that is the big question I hope you enjoyed that video clip a few people had asked mr. Duncan can we can we please see you and mr. Steve on the beach building sandcastles so that's what I thought I would do I was hoping that mr. Steve would come outside to say hello but I don't know what's happened to him I think he's become very distracted by something anyway I hope you enjoyed that a few people are now saying hello because they are late to the live stream hello Louis Minoz hello to you as well also Louis Diamant hello to Tias and Global Polyglot again also Anna Rita I've eaten already but watching you I am feeling very hungry yes the place we went to in that video was called Abadavi once again in Wales as you can see we really do like going to Wales Wales is a beautiful part of the country also the seagulls did you see the seagulls large birds they normally are found by the seaside but sometimes they can get get very violent seagulls they're quite large birds and sometimes they can become very violent <laughs> yes mr. Steve and myself sometimes we do behave like children you are right you are right hello to Saturino paddling paddling now that is a very interesting word the word paddling means to go into the water but you don't go all the way you just go in partly into the water so the water is just above your feet so you don't go too far so we call this paddling you go for a paddle paddle so you don't go all the way into the water you don't go into the water until it's up to your neck you just go a little bit into the water until it covers your feet and nothing else what about you have you ever swam in the sea did you ever go for a swim in the sea I've never done it because I can't swim but have you ever done it now Steve in that video he was showing off because he was swimming actually in the sea but no not me never never ever ever hello mr. Duncan I am Omar uh, from Morocco and I am visiting your country I am in London now hello Omar Youssef are you having a good time in London what is the weather like down in London at the moment is it better than here because a few moments ago whilst the beach video was playing the rain was really coming down heavily so I did get a little worried there Vadim says what was that person with the metal detector doing on the beach well some people will look for valuable things on the beach because sometimes things might get washed up from the sea so maybe a little piece of jewelry or something valuable so they might find it along the beach so quite often you will see people with metal detectors it is a piece of equipment that you put near the ground and it will find things made of metal so it is something that is very popular by the beach and also in the countryside as well 
my PC sounds like a Boeing 747 and I can't hear the lesson <laughs> sorry I have to change the thermal paste well if you are building your own computer the thermal paste is one of the most important parts because that helps to keep your processor cool it really does yes blue thunder says seagulls are violent but we can eat them i have never eaten a seagull ever i'm not even sure if you can maybe it's illegal in this country but yes interesting yes he was searching for valuable things that might be buried beneath the sand on the beach he is using a metal detector swimming in the sea is very cool and it makes me feel very relaxed i'm glad you enjoy it because i don't i can't swim unfortunately i'm not a very good swimmer i am however very good at drowning i am serene snow hello serene snow mr steve is in good shape for an old dude <laughs> i might tell mr steve that later if he comes here i might mention that but yes mr steve is in very good shape some people might say that mr steve is in much better shape than i am which i would agree with yes i think so i have never swam in the sea no i would never do it because i i'm not very good at swimming I'm not a I'm not a fan of water to be honest thank you for the lovely video clip with mr. Duncan and mr. Steve thank you Mohammed Gad that's very kind of you there were some people riding horses on the beach yes you might find that you might find in the early morning you might find people riding horses on the beach because the sand is quite soft so the sand is a very good place to to go for a, a run on your horse well you're not running you are sitting on the horse and the horse is doing the running how about can you call the man on the beach a wanderer there is a very interesting word you can use to describe a person who searches for things on the beach we can call them a beach coma beach coma so a person who is beach combing is a beach coma and they are someone who looks around on the beach to try and find something of value maybe something that is valuable maybe a piece of jewelry so the man with the metal detector was actually beach combing it's a lovely word so a lot of people do go to the beach to try and find things that might be valuable or maybe something interesting that has washed up from the sea jose jose vieira says i am planning to stay in england for a few months and a question for you is is the accommodation expensive well it can be i suppose it depends where you stay so even if you stay in london you might find that there are many places that are very expensive but of course you can find places that are not so expensive so it really depends on what you are looking for if you are looking for a nice hotel room with lots of privacy and maybe you want your own bathroom and shower then you, you will have to pay more so there are compromises that you can make when you are looking for accommodation wherever you are traveling in the world so not just here in the UK but anywhere so yes it can be quite expensive I would say the average is around 40 maybe 50 pounds for one night but again sometimes you can get special deals you can go on the internet and you can find maybe a website 
that has lots of special offers so to be honest with you there are many different types of accommodation that you can actually stay at so a place like London for example would be very expensive many of the hotels you are probably going to spend maybe 70 80 or probably quite likely over a hundred pounds just for one night in a hotel so it really depends on what you're looking for of course there are hostels there are youth hostels there are basic hotels with very small rooms so there are many ways of staying in a city or a town here in much Wenlock where I live it can be quite expensive to stay here because here in much Wenlock we have a very busy period of time during the summer so we have a lot of tourists coming here during the summer months so many of the hotels are quite expensive but of course there are guest houses as well a guest house is a bit like a normal house but someone will allow you to stay in one of their rooms in the house and if you are very lucky they will make some breakfast for you as well so yes I think I think it really does depend on what you are looking for so I would say the average price for a hotel room might be 70 80 pounds but if you really want some privacy if you want to be private in your hotel room I would say that you are going to have to spend over a hundred pounds for one night and that is quite cheap some hotels in London are maybe four five hundred pounds for one night can you believe it a very expensive place to stay London of course I am very far away from London I don't live in London I'm very far from there TS says your beach video reminds me of Mr Bean yes there is an episode of Mr Bean where he goes to the seaside and I think it involves a baby I'm sure it has something to do with a baby I think maybe he he accidentally takes a baby with him <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember the whole episode <laughs> I can't remember the last time I watched Mr Bean it was quite a few years Khalil says what does your name mean my name Duncan well my name is Duncan Mr Duncan so Duncan is yes it is a popular name there are people called Duncan I'm not the only one but it originates from Scotland so my name actually originates from Scotland and apparently the meaning of Duncan is brave warrior did you know that you do now so yes my name originates from Scotland and its meaning is brave warrior apparently <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what he is talking about says go rav go rav tatar says i have absolutely no idea what he is talking about well of course you can always look at the captions yes there are live captions on my streams wait there a moment if you press this button on your computer you will actually get live captions so if you are having difficulty understanding what I'm saying press this button on your computer and then you will be able to see the live captions Ooh, isn't technology amazing it really is I like it very much what is the best period to visit England if you like nice weather then I would come from maybe May until early September so from May to early September probably the best time of the year to come 
of course quite often we, we can actually have some nice weather during springtime so it really depends on what type of weather you like if you like it cold come in the winter if you like it mild and pleasant come in the summer Belarusia says daffodils are in bloom here in Argentina really so at the moment it is springtime in Argentina so apparently there are lots of daffodils all over the place in Argentina where Belarusia is actually watching at the moment hello from the Black Sea Palmyra or Palmyra is here as well nice to see you too on the live stream yes Giovanni says Duncan was also a character or a person from a Shakespeare play called Macbeth that is true King Duncan <laughs> do you know what happened to King Duncan King Duncan was murdered not very nice really thank you Belarusia apparently Palmyra was swimming in the water or has been swimming in the water well you are very brave that's all I can say hello also to Giovanni who mentions Shakespeare a couple of times yes Duncan is a popular name there aren't many Duncans I suppose when you think of common English names I suppose we always think of John John is a very common English name David is also a very common English name so John David and for women females there are lots of common female names such as Jane and Diane Susan so these are quite common names you will find a lot of Susans a lot of Julies a lot of Janes however these days a lot of people are naming their babies with, with more extravagant names so you might find over the next few years you might find that many of the names that people call their children actually disappear so maybe some of the common names will slowly vanish altogether you never know you never know hello mr. Duncan from Laos or Laos I never know how to pronounce that because some people say it one way and some people say it another Passan very nice to see you as well global polyglot asks do you know Adele well I don't know her personally we're not friends so I don't know her but yes she is a singer a very popular singer here in the UK and also around the world as well we'd like to see your gazebo well you can see it on the thumbnail so if you look at the picture for this lesson there is a picture of the gazebo that I'm standing underneath at the moment so yes what Mika says John Paul George and Richard are they the Beatles I don't remember Richard in the Beatles but they are common names so there are a lot of John's a lot of Paul a lot of George and maybe David I think David is a very common name as well a very common English name John David Peter Ah, there's another one there are lots of Peters around as well Naomi says it is winter in Argentina but in Buenos Aires we have crazy weather because one day it was five and then another day it was 20 so that is a big difference so five degrees and 20 degrees so there is a big difference between those two temperatures 
it's a little bit like here in the UK we are having some crazy weather at the moment unbelievable weather oh no oh dear did you see that can you see who is coming can you see who is coming to disturb my lesson <laughs> yes he is here again oh, mr. Duncan hello mr. Steve hello we were talking about you just isn't it strange people think this is a repeat of the other week when I was also coming by this is very similar <laughs> This is very similar to the other week. Well, I'm en route, as we say. <laughs> are en you? route. Where are you going? We say, yes, we say if we say en route, it means we're on the way to somewhere. En route. So I'm en route to the back of the garden. Yes. Where I have been very busy this morning. Have I not, Mr Duncan? Yes, you have. He's been very busy. Also a little bit grumpy today. Steve is grumpy. Do you want to know why? Because tomorrow... He has to go back to work. Poor Mr. Steve. I've had two weeks off, a holiday, a vacation, leave. Some people call it leave, don't yes, they? You can have some leave from work. But we normally say, use the word leave to refer to the forces in this country. But some people I know at work still say, oh, I'm on leave. Hmm. But normally we refer to somebody who, who, who was in the army. Yeah, the military. The military. But some people do use it, particularly if they work for the civil service, which is the government. They tend to use the word, I've got a friend, and he says, oh, I'm on leave. I said, well, it's a strange. Why don't you just say you're on holiday? Yes, on leave. I'm taking a break from work. I, I'm off. That's another one. I'm off. So Mr. Steve has been off for the past two weeks but tomorrow he has to go back to work i've got so many jobs done i had the, i made this list of jobs which doesn't sound very much like a holiday it doesn't but i like being at home getting lots of jobs done to me that's a holiday because i like to be busy mr duncan knows i like to be busy i don't like to be sitting around idle this is true. Not doing very much. I get restless, bite my nails. I've got to do something, do something. Cut a hedge, clean a room, do something. <laughs> Can you go and do that now? Uh, which I will be doing because I, I have been cutting the hedge with using the hedge trimmers. OK. The electric hedge trimmers. And there's a lot of, uh, of all the debris that I've cut off, all the okay. branches. So I've got to clear them up and put them in the wheelie bin. So it sounds as if Mr Steve has a lot of mess to clear up there's a lot of, well, a lot of effort i'll tell you because it's a very long extendable um go on i'm talking about the hedge trimmer uh and it, it uses all your muscles I, I must be ripped under here mr duncan <laughs> well people people were commenting earlier on about your looks because i was showing mm. the trip do you remember last year we went to the beach and you were running into the sea in slow motion oh yes and a few people said Mr. Steve has a very nice body. He looks very fit for, for such an old man. Well, it was all right until then, Mr. Duncan. Yeah, and then you it, ruined it. Well, I didn't ruin it. I'm just repeating what people said. So they, they thought you looked great for a man of your age. 32. <laughs> yeah. Any comments, Mr. Duncan? You know, people saying, welcome back, Mr. Steve. There, right down there, you can oh, see. Nice. So a lot of people are saying, hello. Hello, Mr. Steve. Sergio Hello. says, Sergio says, Mr. Steve is very green fingered. That is true. I love being in the garden and I like chopping back plants. The trouble with this garden is there are a lot of bushes and hedges <laughs> yes. which take a lot of maintenance. And because we've had a very wet summer, mm. they've been growing. I've had to cut them. Well, that hedge at the back. Hmm. I normally cut it once, maybe twice a year. I've had to cut it four times yes. because it's so much water. It's growing very fast. It's well, a lot of effort. It was raining just. Was it? Yes, it was It was really throwing it down with rain, a, a short shower. So today, it's worse today than it was yesterday. It's very windy. It's, it's so windy. Yesterday was windy, but today it's even worse. I was a little worried. I thought... I thought my little gazebo was going to blow yeah, away. I was going to ask you about that, Mr. Duncan. What is the result of your gazebo? Have you doubled your viewership as a result of the new gazebo? Well, I don't think the gazebo will make any difference to my viewing figures. <laughs> I 
you never know they might see the extra professionalism yes, that but, is now imparted but they can't see it where, where is the gazebo on the picture there isn't one but it's there it's, it, it's having an effect in the background it's helping me to stay dry just in case it rains that's that's why it's here tomek says mr steve you have been sorely missed i love to hear that isn't that nice so some people have been missing mr steve whilst others haven't would you like to see a picture this who is who hasn't hang on a minute who hasn't been missing me that's what i want to know i can think of quite a few people oh. so here here is the photograph oh look steve oh there we are on the balcony oh yes there we are look there we are standing yes. last week mr steve took me on a lovely trip i didn't know where we were going did i no you knew vaguely but not exactly no i had no idea i didn't know if we were staying at a hotel i didn't know anything so it was a big surprise so we had a lovely time last week and thank you once again steve for your lovely treat wasn't that lovely that's why i've got to go back to work now to pay for it <laughs> <laughs> so talking of work yes are you going back to work now I'm getting a little hint here that I think Mr. Duncan wants me to vacate. Well, I will be going. Exit. I will be going soon. That's why. You've only been on an hour. No, I've been on longer in an hour. Hour and ten minutes. Yes, yeah, an hour and ten minutes. I'm not sure that's long enough for your it's, it's lovely been, viewers. It's been a long time since I've done two hours. I stopped doing two hours a long time ago because a lot of people said mr duncan we can't watch you for two hours it's too long look at the lovely comments everybody's missing me <laughs> i'm so loved i'm so happy to welcome mr steve i missed you says N N N naomi that's hello not a, naomi hello to everybody that's not an easy name to say naomi is Lewis on today? Lewis sent us a lovely picture, didn't he? We we did. We, I met. I mentioned Louis earlier. Louis Mendez sent a lovely picture, and I like the fact that Louis has a little twinkle. A twinkle in his eye. He looks like a a person who really does enjoy life. Yes. So thank you very much. I'm not telling everyone to send their pictures in of themselves. Don't worry. If you want to, if you want to stay anonymous. You are more than welcome to do so. So you don't have to show your face. Do not worry about that. Miss, Mr. Steve, you are a lovely person. That what is can I say? That is Mika saying that. <laughs> Thank you, Mika. Thank you, Mika. Oh, Jeff is here. I've noticed something, by the way, Steve. Yes. Jeff only says something on the live chat when you appear doesn't surprise me at all he never says anything i've noticed this jeff you never say anything to me but you always say something to steve i am getting very jealous now some of us have got it mr duncan and others haven't yes okay. <laughs> that's true <laughs> well i suppose you want me to continue on my uh, on my journey where are you going <laughs> get to the back of the garden to clear up all the clippings yes. that I have uh, generated earlier. So Mr. Steve is now going to clean the mess up that he made earlier. So okay. if you stay on, you might see me coming by. Good. Very interesting. Yes, exactly. That's so good. I, uh, shall I go then, Mr. Duncan? We will, we will see you maybe next week. Yes. Okay. I thought you were going to get me something to do, you know, something to read out, uh, an idiom perhaps. No. Hmm. That's it. <sighs> you, Ta-ta, everybody. You may see me going back this way. Uh, with a barrow load full of clippings. OK, so Steve is now going to push his wheelbarrow around the garden. We'll see you later. Bye bye. And that is Mr. Steve. For those wondering who Mr. Steve is, that's him there. The person wandering around the garden doing some work. So that's it. I think I'm going to end it here because the weather isn't very nice today. I must admit, I hope you have enjoyed today's live stream it's been a very strange one today so i was asked yesterday if i had eaten a birthday cake but i didn't have one that's the one thing i didn't do on my birthday i actually didn't have a birthday cake that's very interesting <laughs> sergio says isn't mr steve a fluffy 
pack of loveliness <laughs> well I suppose that's one way of describing him I thought mr. Steve had been abandoning us no mr. Steve is a very busy person at the moment even though he's had some holiday time so he's been relaxing for the past two weeks even though he's been very busy doing things around the house and also in the garden as he mentioned earlier so Steve has been a busy bee during his two-week holiday but sadly tomorrow he has to go back to work ah oh, what a shame now Steve is about to go by you will see him go by let me just show you <laughs> well done Steve so that was Steve taking some of the some of the mess that he made this morning he's going to dispose of it okay I don't know what he's doing now <laughs> between you and me Mr. Steve is very odd sometimes I think so oh maybe you like cheesecake Duncan I do like cheesecake cheesecake is one of my favorite cakes of all I love cheesecake and the interesting thing is cheesecake isn't made of cheese isn't that strange thank you very much for your lovely messages I'm just trying to there we go I'm just hiding some of the messages I don't normally like people to leave their personal details on the live chat I don't normally allow that for for various reasons so excuse me if I don't allow you to leave personal details or WhatsApp numbers I don't normally allow that so I hope you will forgive me you are both so funny thank you Anna I'm going now by the way I will I am going I will leave you and I will let you carry on with the rest of your Sunday I hope I have not annoyed you too much today because some people think I'm very annoying can you believe that some people think I'm a real pain in the neck I don't know why see you next week yes I'm back on Saturday and Sunday I will give you the details I've just realized I haven't told you the details today so here they are right now if you want to follow me on Facebook you can you can email me you can even make a donation if you wish to to allow my work to continue because everything I do is done for free and also you can catch my live lessons on Saturday 12 p.m. midday UK time and on Sunday 2 p.m. UK time as well and that is it really I think it's time to say goodbye thank you Johan Freddy can you say a big shout out to Colombia so there is a big shout out coming from Colombia but also I will say hi to Colombia as well oh and also congratulations on your recent win at the Tour de France congratulations Jamelia says catch you later Anna says have a nice week I hope so I hope next week the weather gets better I really do because at the moment it does not feel like summer can you believe it the sun has now come out I'm about to leave you and now the sun has come out typical so I will see you later this is mr. Duncan saying thanks for watching have a great week stay safe of course and until the next time we meet here on YouTube can I say enjoy yourself have a super duper time and I will be back with you live next Saturday and of course until the next time we meet here on youtube.com ta-ta for now